Okay, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I got a new cam, which is a webcam, and a microphone headset to see if I can improve the quality. But I'm thinking my phone might be actually better. We'll see after I make this video. I had a subscriber ask me what I thought about making bookmarks, and so I thought I would give it a go. I've made many bookmarks when it comes to graphic design and Medalla coloring pages and stuff like that through the years, but I never really thought about doing it for dot painting. So I just basically, I had this ruler and I cut out the size the ruler was. So it's about just right around an inch and a half and I made it six inches in length and I painted it black on both sides since it's going to be a bookmark you want both sides to look nice so I'll probably go and paint both eventually but for the video I'm just going to paint one side you can see my tool caddy now because I have more room <laughs> that's what I keep all my tools in and I'm going to try and just draw on a pattern because she was wanting like oh butterflies or dragonflies or bees or sunflowers or whatever so I am not super artistic at drawing by any means but I am going to attempt to do a dragonfly and how I'm going to attempt this is with my stencils because I know this is the basic shape I want to get so I have these stencils, one's ovals and another one is circles. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. You can use a compass or whatever you want to get your basic shape on there. And let's see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to dot over these. I'm not going to leave it drawn on there like this. But I figured I could at least get the basic shape down this way. And so I'm just taking what I look what looks like would be like oh, I don't know how to describe it. Not so huge for this bookmark I guess. And I'm just going to do a few this way. And I'm going to just dot over the top of these. So these really don't matter. I just wanted to have a shape so that I could get the wings on it. And I'll do more going down the line a little bit, I think. Well, let's see. This might be too big of a pattern to even. Yep, it is. So I'm just going to try and freehand it. And let's see. It's like an, a teardrop shape, kind of. Oh, I'm just going to go out like that. And this is, I'm just using my memory. So if this is off, I am sorry. But I'm just doing like a teardrop shape. And then I figured I'd just trail down like that. And see, and I think that these should be actually skinnier. I'm going to take them down a little bit. Do like that. And then trail down. And I plan to have a couple on here, but I think for now I'm just going to do the one. I didn't grab paint. Let me see what's within arm's reach here. Some purple and some pinks. And maybe a green and a white. Okay, I got some paint. Now I'll put the color listing down like I always do. So you guys will have it. And 
And I don't know that I'm going to set numbers out. I think I'm just going to say them for this video because I'm really not super prepared. I'm just going to kind of wing this and see how it goes. So let's see. Maybe I just leave the the dragonfly pattern wings black behind it. I don't know. I might dot over the top of them either. But I'm going to outline it first. I'm just going to move this out to the side. And I'm going to do my dots for the body and then I'm going to outline the wings. So this is a number 18. And you don't have to draw this on first. You could just dot it if you're good at doing that. So that was an 18, and now I'm going to go down in size to um, the 14. And I want them to almost connect. I do, if I can help it, I'm not going to have them overlap, because then it's going to look kind of a funky shape instead of dots. And I'm going to go down to number 10. Just get the basic shape down here. And then go down even further. Let's go down to, let's see, number 7. And I'm just angling it. I'm going to trail it down a little bit. And then I'm going to go to a number five. And then down to a number three. And I'm just going to like dot like that and just trail it off. Now I'm going to go down to the number two and I'm going to highlight my edges of my wings. I'm just dotting. I'm dipping every few dots so they stay barely consistent. I don't know what this is going to turn out like because I've never tried to paint a dragonfly. I don't even know if that's going to look like one, but hey, I gave it an effort. I don't know if dragonflies have an antenna or not. I guess I should have done a lot more research. I don't know. What do you think? Does that look like a dragonfly? Or not so much? Probably not so much. <laughs> But it'll probably be cute when we get done. So now I'm going to do some other little patterns. And 
Let's see. Sorry, my phone rang. I'm going to do, I got this, um, let's see, Royal Fuchsia. I'm going to do a few dots and try and make some flowery looking patterns around. So I'm going to do my center dot. Oh, let's see. Number six. And I'm just going to put these random. So I'm just going to do a dot here. So these are not, this isn't going to be a, really a true dot mandala design. That's just going to be a dot painting. And I might do these in different colors, so I'm not going to fill it up completely. Now oh, I got this lighter pink bubblegum color I'm going to use. Now, when you're making a, like a little flower, they look better if they're not even. So like if you do five petals or nine petals or whatever compared to like four or six, they look more like a flower. I don't know why, but they do. So I'm going to attempt to do five. I'm really not so great at this, so we'll see what happens. Let's see, I'm, I'm using a number five to try and do five. So let's see if this works out all right. Now you gotta leave a little bit of space in between them. There. And it isn't too awful. I'm gonna do this other one down here. It gets easier after you make one to see what kind of spacing you need to do. And I'm just starting them out in a random spot so they're not all so I don't have like a dot on the bottom of each one of them because then it won't look as nice. All right. Well, those are kind of cute. Okay, kind of like those. Now this might be cute to do like a saying or something on it and then do some pattern around it. I'm just doing kind of a random pattern. This is my first ever bookmark painting. So I think I'm going to do, with the number one, I'm going to do some white dots around some of these. Not all of them. Just add a little something. 
Well, maybe all of them. I'll have to see what it looks like. Okay, I got another idea. While I'm at it, I'm going to use this sour apple. I'm going to try and just do a little drag to make like a leaf impression. We'll see how that goes. Let's use uh, maybe a number three. Let's see. That's a five. That's too big. Okay, here's a number three. I'm just going to make it, going to put a dot here and just drag it out a little bit. I don't know if I like that or not. <laughs> You're making it look stupid. Yeah, I don't like that. Could take that off of there. Good thing is, you can take it off while it's still wet. Your drags might look a lot nicer than mine. You might choose to keep them on there. I think I might put some little green dots or something there to do it though. Especially since I got a little bit of green residue sitting there. I'm going to use the number four. I guess put some green dots there. Just to kind of cover up what I just did. Yeah, I'll do them on the way around it. Or something a little different. A little Mandela pattern. I think I liked it better before I did any of that. You ever get like that? I do all the time. See now I want I have the need to make this feel more even, so I'm gonna this is the thing about having a brain that likes to do mandolas is everything needs to be kinda even everywhere, otherwise you feel like you're off. I'm just gonna do green dots around this one too. And I like one up on the top because that would make me feel better, but I don't think I'm going to do it. There. <coughs> Excuse me. See, my brain's telling me I need to do like this one up here. Now that I get those bigger green dots, I don't like the white ones, so I'm going to use the number four and just make them bigger so they look like I intended those green dots to be that big. Alright. Go and I'm gonna do this one white. I'm not doing as many, I'm just doing one row of white. I'm doing two rows on the green. So. 
then I think I will do this up. I'm going to do this one in white and do the other one in green. And just kind of even it out. And you could do this any way you like. This is just me making it up as I go along. Okay, now I'm going to go to the, uh, the number three, I guess. I've got this purple cow color, which is like a light lavender. And I'm going to do just three little dots like a kind of triangular pattern randomly so I fill in a little bit of space and make it look kind of floral little berries or something. This would be a good way just to get in there and practice your dotting. Just to get your dot shapes good. Do a random little bookmark. However you feel like doing it. I think next time I'll have to look up what a dragonfly looks like better. Or maybe I'll do a bee or a butterfly or something instead. Okay, and now I'm going to do Let's see. Hard to decide. Um, I think maybe I'm going to put a little white dot in the center of those. Just to make it look more floral. Just right in the center where they all come together. And then I like to do, like, just to fill in with, like, pastel-y colors and, or, like, white. And since my butterfly is white, I don't want to use white. I think I'm going to use a real light pink. So I'm going to take this bubble gum and I'm going to add quite a bit of white to it and just soften it. Uh, oh, too much. I use that one. I hate when it comes out like that on me. I'm just going to lighten this up. Okay, and now I'm just going to do 
some random just dots all over the place. And I'm going to start out with a bigger dot. Let's see. This is the number five. And I'm just going to dot all over the place just to fill in the background. And there's really no rhyme or reason. I'm just dotting all over the place. If you don't tap so hard, then you get a smaller dot. And I'm going to go down in size because I don't want too many big dots. Let's go to the number three. And all I'm trying to do is fill in some of that negative space I got going on here with color. And you could do more flowers or you, whatever you want. I'm just. Doing a random pattern. And you could use multiple colors. Or if you like white, you could use white. Now I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to go in and top dot though on top of my dragonfly. Well, let's see. For his head I'm going to use number 12. And I'm using that purple cow that, that lavender. That was the number 12. And I gotta go down. Uh, this is the number 10. In my next video, I'm going to go back to my phone instead of this. But you guys, let me know. This is the number eight. If you like this camera better, I don't think it's as clear. But I won't know until I edit it in the end. And this will be. It's too big. What's that? Number four. And then number two. And then I'm just tapping after I doubt that to pull it out and walk it down. And that's what I got. Oh, that really got out of focus. I'm sorry, I probably should have used my phone. Now I'm going to top dot with the number two and those flowers with that lighter pink and the dark pink. Just to bring them out a little bit. So I'm using what I used in the background, the lightened 
the lighter pink color, the bubble gum, that I lightened with the white for those dots, and I'm top dotting on that bubble gum color once in the flowers. You could go in and you could top dot on all of these and all your different flowers and everything if you like. But I think I'm just going to leave it like that. My camera, this camera is not good at focusing. I can see that already. I don't know if getting it closer will help. I'll take a picture of it with my phone so you can see it better and post it on my Instagram. So if you want to see a better completed picture or the thumbnail will have a better one. This camera just is not one I want to use. So sorry for the downgraded video on this one, but I'll go back to the other one for the next. Hope you guys like it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.